Hi and welcome to another episode of Essential Lightroom. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how we can take an image from its starting point and take it through and process it. Now as always I've got a free preset available and in a specific case it's to do with the landscape so we're going to go through step by step and end up with an image that's very close to what we have in screen in front of us. So let's take a look at the starting point, the end point and the entire process that I've gone through to get to that end result. So this is our starting point, and as you can see, it's already a really good looking image. Biggest problem I can find with it is it just looks a little bit too cool for my liking. I want to bring a bit sort of vibrancy into it, a bit more contrast, and just add a little bit of extra drama to it. So let's go through step by step and see how we can do that. Now obviously this is a completely subjective edit, and you might find that certain things in there you think, well I wouldn't have done it that way. Well, that's the beauty of dealing with things like this. Everybody's got their own way of working and their own end results. But I'm going to take you in step by step through what I've done to achieve the result that I kind of like. So. First thing I want to do is bring in a little bit of warmth into the overall image and then we'll go through step by step and get to the end result that I like. So first things to do in the develop module we're going to come up to the basics panel and we're just going to take the, the temperature of the image over to the warm side slightly. So if we take this over to the right hand side not very far probably about plus 8 plus 10 somewhere around that kind of region we start to bring just a little bit of warmth into the image. Now because obviously it's snow and there's sky and there's the water reflecting in the sky, it's predominantly blues and whites and sort of greys in the image. We have some colour information with the sort of the tree line and the sort of scrubland and things along those lines that we've got. So we need to accentuate that and bring some of that colour information in. So the next thing I want to do is just bump the contrast up just to get a little bit more dynamic information in between the darks and the lights in the image. So that's looking pretty good. Now as we can see we've got a lot of snow up in this area and there's not a lot of detail in there. Now this is a stock image so obviously I have no control over exactly what was shot so we've only got the information we have available to us in there we don't have a raw file to work with. But by pulling the highlights back we'll start to bring out a little definition in there. So let's bring those down to about minus 60. And we can already see we now start to see a bit more definition in those mountains. We start to bring back a little bit of that detail. Looks a bit better. We've already got more detail in there. Next thing we want to do is just control the whites because like I say, there's a lot of white and light gray information in this image. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring those back down, drop it down to about minus 50 somewhere around that and you can see that now makes that mountain range stand out a lot more than it did. So let's look at before, let's look at after. So you can see just those slight alterations have already brought back those mountains and made them stand out just a little bit more and the added warmth just add that little bit of extra. So the next thing I'm going to do is jump down to the present section we're going to take the clarity slider we're going to give that a good bump up just to sort of really boost the contrast. Take this up Somewhere in that kind of region, you can see now those mountains really do start to pop out. So we're starting to get a lot more interest in there. Vibrance. Well, we don't have a huge amount of warm tones in the image because we are dealing with a pretty cool image. So this is not going to have a massive effect, but you'll see the information over with the trees and things. They should start to get a little bit more color information. Not a huge amount, but just a bit. That's looking pretty good. I like that. And next up, I want to take the saturation and reduce that. So the overall color information in the image is being reduced, whereas with the vibrant slider boost, that's just kind of compensating for the warmer tones in the image. So that's the basic panel covered. Let's move on now and take a look at the next set of alterations we're going to make to this image. So next up, we're going to jump into the tone curve panel, and we're going to make a really subtle tweak in here. Let's add a couple of extra points in at the cross sections. I'm not going to worry about the midpoint. I'm not going to deal with any of the sort of mid to contrast and things in the image. What we're going to do is we're just going to come down to the blacker areas and we're just going to lift those up a little bit so the blacks become a little bit more grey, a little less black. Kind of flattens the image out ever so slightly. What we're going to do now is we're going to come up to the highlights and we're just going to give those a little bit of a bump. And I'm talking really quite tiny. Don't want to go too far with those at all. Just a slight little tweak. That's looking pretty good. So before and after. You can see most of the information that's been adjusted is down in the sort of shoreline where we've got the darker areas in the image. But the flattened sort of shadow area kind of has a nice effect on there. 
Okay, so that's pretty much all I want to do with the tone curve. So for the next part, we're going to jump over to the split toning section. And for this, I'm going to leave the color information changes I want to make because that's kind of specific to the image. So where the preset kind of ends is where we make the alterations of the split toning. So let's take a look at that. And then we'll jump back to the, the color information and we'll tweak that for this specific image. So what I want to do is I want to bring in a little bit of warmth into those highlights. So we're just going to simply take this up into the orangey yellows kind of colors somewhere around about there. So we're just bordering on the orange yellow border lines and we'll just bring a little bit of saturation up into there. Don't want to go crazy. We should start to find that the highlights start to warm up ever so slightly as if this was sort of short early evening where the sun is starting to go down a little bit. Now we're going to go to the shadow information and for this we're going to bring in a little bit of turquoise kind of color. So we're going to take it up to around about this point, somewhere around about there, where we've got the green, greeny blue kind of turquoisey kind of color. And this we are going to give just a tiny, tiny amount of, of saturation, somewhere around that kind of region. And now we're going to alter the balance. We're going to push this over to the right hand side, somewhere around about there. You can see if we take it over to the left hand side, we start to bring in a lot more of the shadow information, so we should get, get a bluer tone to it. As you take this over to the right hand side, we start to bring in some of the, the warmer tones that we have in there. And that looks pretty good actually. We're going to go for a run about this, but plus 50. So let's take a look at before and after. So you can see we've just brought in some warmth into those, those colors in there, reduced some of the blueness, and just given it a nice overall tonal boost. So let's take a look at before and after. This is where we are now, and this is where we started. So as you can see, Pretty cool, we don't have a huge amount of definition in those mountains. Once we make the tweaks, we now start to bring a lot more definition in. We start to bring that sort of evening warmth to the overall color in there, and that looks pretty good. And like I say, you could leave it there, and that's where the preset's gonna get you to. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into the HSL section and make some adjusted, just a couple of adjustments to the image itself for this specific image to get closer to what I have in my mind's eye. So the HSL panel gives us a lot of control over the color information inside the image. We can change colors, we can boost them or desaturate them, and we can adjust the luminance of those, image, of those colors as well. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to pick out some of the colors and we're going to adjust them. So first of all, we're going to come down to the hue, which is going to allow us to shift colors in either direction. So we can make it sort of go from the blue over to sort of the turquoise or to the greens and so on. And we're going to adjust those. So. We're simply going to come over to the aqua section and we're just going to give that a slight, just a bit of boost. Right about there looks pretty good. Like I say, these are all pretty subtle tweaks, but they amount to make a nice alteration. And we're going to do the same with the blues. We're just going to give those a little tweak, but about the same kind of thing. So before, after. So we kind of get a bit more blueness, as it were, to the blue, where we've kind of warmed the tones up. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is come down to the saturation, and again, the same thing again. We're going to come down to the aquas, we're going to come down to the blue, and we're just going to give those a bit of a boost. So we're going to do both of those around with the same kind of value. Let's try a little bit more, see what that kind of brings us. Yep, I kind of like that. So that makes the blue now a lot bluer while not making the overall image seem very blue, if that makes any sense. But now we're going to come down to the luminous and we're going to darken those blues down and the aqua colors down. So we're going to simply bring these down to a minus, probably a minus five, minus ten, somewhere around there. Little subtle tweaks that make those colors, those blue colors, just a little bit darker. So let's take a look at before and let's take a look at after. So as you can see, we now have a better balance of the overall image. We're not kind of making the entire image blue or the entire image sort of warmer. We've taken the blues, we've given those a nice blue tint, we've given those a little bit of a boost and a kick. We brought some warmth into the warmer colors in the image and we brought some more definition out into the mountain range with the snow and so on. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. So this is what we've ended up with and this is what we started with. Not a massive difference like I said at the beginning, but enough to make it look a little bit better overall and make it a much nicer image there we go. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of the new content we add every single week. For any comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else we cover on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. Next time, take care.